look at heap sort we're using the technique that we have learned in chapter 9 which is heap right heap is like a type of priority queue we know the root is always a max values right so heap sort approach is going to say take the root elements of the heap and put it into the place and reheap the remaining elements which is put the next largest value into the root again and repeat until there are no more elements so let's look at we have this is the unsorted list right and array so we're going to build a heap from this array so we push this into the heap I mean into right heap right So for index going from first not leaf node up to the root node. Reheap down. Index going from the first not leaf node up to the root node. Reheap down. Pass the value of the index and the index. Right. So these are the leaps, the blue part, nineteen seven three hundred and one. And this is a leaf of the left branch, which is the last one, 197, has the parent as 2. And the right branch has my 101 and has it parent as 36. So if you look back at the algorithm here, we try to build a heap. For index going from first non leaf node, so those are non leaf node, right? Up to the root node, reheap down. We compare, right? 19.7. We see that in order to get keep the order, 19 has to go up. Right, so 19 go up because we compare three items here. 19 is the largest, it's become the root. Or the parents of the left right subtree here and look at the same at the right subtree 100 is the largest so 100 has to go up right so swap with 36 19 swap with 2 now we do it again right so to build a heap look at the left again left subtree look at 19th now we know it's the largest of the left small subtree here so we compare 19 17 and 3 here we see 19 has to go up and now at the end we pretty much just compare the whole we see 100 has to swap it 25 now we have to reheap down here right 25 and 36 has to be swapped because having to swap here. So now the tree now wraps in the heap. So if you use an array to implement, it's just showing you the contents of array is keeping changes in this order. So the sort nodes algorithms for index going from last node up to next to root node swap there in root node with values index so this is called reheap down pass the values index zero and index heap sort 
So this is how we implement it in Java: loop form size divide by two minus one. So that's about in half. Write study index and decrement it. Index greater than equal to zero. We do reheap down. So this is using an array to implement it. So if you look back to array, and uh, we say uh, size to it by two minus one, eight is four or is three. So we start from that. All right, two, which is right there. And we keep reheap down. Now sort the array. So size minus one to index greater than equals to one. Pretty much the whole thing start at the end. We swap and reheap down. So let's look at the analysis of a heap sort. I mean, consider sorting loop. It loops through eight minus one times, swapping elements and reheaping. Compress and occur in reheap down. A complete binary tree with n nodes has log n plus one levels. In the worst case, then if the root element has to be bumped down to a leaf position, the reheap down method would make log n comparisons. So reheap down is about log n, right, best two. And now multiplying this activity by the n minus one iteration show that the starting loop is about big of n log n. Right, combining the original heap build, which is big of n, and the sorting loop, we can see that heap sort requires a log n comparison. So for a small array, heap sort is not very efficient because of all the overhead. For large arrays, heap sort is very efficient. So I like quick sort. Heap sort efficiency is not affected by the initial order of the elements. That's correct. All right? Quick sort, if it's on in order, then the efficiency is going to be n square. Now, heap sort is also efficient in terms of space. It only requires constant extra space. That's true. Because it's just using an array. Heap sort is an elegant, fast, robust, space, efficient algorithms.